Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer. Welcome back to Train Sim World 2020. And welcome to, this is the Caltrain MP36PH-3C Baby Bullet Loco Add-on DLC. That is a mouthful. This is the early riser scenario. And we are gonna hop in and get to it. It's a 30 minute scenario. Hopefully we can get it done in 30 minutes. And we've got, I did this one, I, I practiced it. I did this one once already. So as we are moving through the yard, I will, like so, I had it, there it is, got back. I will uh, hop onto both the Steam page and the Wikipedia for this loco and tell you a little bit about it. So sit in the engineer's seat, you got it. Uh, we need, let's turn these back on momentarily. Set the engine run, generator field, and fuel pump to on. You got it, so that is engine run. Generator field, fuel pump. That is behind us. We've got a long arm, but not that long. So let's be realistic and step over here. We're gonna hold this until the diesel engine is running. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Set the engine isolation to run. You got it. And now we're gonna go back over here have a seat. Turn the HEP off. Set the head end power. Press the HEP start stop button. All right. Set the HEP mode to run. Got it. Turn the HEP on. All right. Let's zoom out here. Set the cutoff valve to passenger done. Insert the reverser handle. If I can find it. We're going to need a cursor for this. There it is. Just so we're not fishing around. There's that. Set the reverser to forward. Done. Set the automatic brake to release. Bring this back. Like so. And apply power using the throttle and reach at least five miles per hour. Okay, so we can turn this off now. We can turn our cursor off now. And here we go. And while that is accelerating, let's hop outside and take a look at this thing. Beautiful. I think this is probably the most European looking American loco that I've ever seen. I think that is very cool. And I have seen these around. I haven't, uh, meters. I haven't spent a ton of time in or on or around trains in California, either Northern or Southern California, but I have seen this one just briefly from time to time. I think that's a good looking train. All right, so we've got quarter mile to go at six miles per hour. <laughs> Bump that up a little bit and I will quickly read to you from the Steam page for this DLC carefully monitoring my speed and my distance. So this is for the Peninsula Cordo route, uh, if I didn't mention that, and it is just a loco add-on. Scroll down here. Let me see, the efficient and flashy MP Express diesels have been operating baby bullet services since 2003. Now you can experience them for yourself. And I, no, you know what? Let's, uh, discretion is the better part of valor. Let's, let's hop back in here and handle our business and we'll, we'll find another opportunity to uh, go over some of the specifics. Because we've got a red signal up ahead and those are, as you know, those are my nemesis. They always get me. But yeah, I'm very pleased with what I see so far and I feel like the, I feel like the entire Peninsula Corridor DLC, probably because it's the most recent DLC, is it not? Uh, maybe there was one after that. But I feel like the, the newer DLCs just play a little smoother and a little faster than some of the older DLCs. And I think the reason for that is it's Train Sim World is a new franchise from, what, 2018? And so I feel like they're, they're sort of getting their, they're collecting their data. Dovetail is, you know, figuring it out. Run this 
Red to signal. Did we get it? Not quite. Oh, how close are we? Oh, game. You're making me nervous. Why are you going to make me pull up so far? All right. Very carefully. We're just going to creep forward. Thought for sure we were in the trigger. Did we get it? Now we've got it. Okay. Uh, 178 meter. That's, so that's got to be back there. Change the switch. Set the switch to access the right track. Okay. So we'll stand up from here. Go out here. Hop down. And we will... Uh, let's just run. So yeah, I feel like the new DLC or the newer DLC play smoother and faster and better than some of the original content. And I expect that would be true from any developer and for any franchise and for any DLC that as they gather more data, as they find ways to make models and assets more efficient, as they find ways to optimize, right? That the, the content is just going to get better. And that seems to be the case here. Right, so we want this to write. All right, and then we got one more over here, right here, also to the right, and then we're going to hop back in, yep, run back up here and get this thing backed up. And this does, uh, it comes with the, the loco up front that we're going to talk about momentarily, and it also comes with a cab control car at the rear which is the same setup as the other loco that comes with the Peninsula Corridor DLC. So I think those are cool. They added one of those. Uh, they added a cab control car to the Northeast Corridor and you can use it on the other end of the Amtrak train. Those fascinate me. I mean, I guess you, you don't really think about trains backing up carefully, mouse and keyboard. You don't really think about trains backing up for miles and miles and miles, but if there is no opportunity for them to get turned around, I guess they have to go go back up the route the other direction. Okay, so we are now going to reverse or to reverse. Brakes off. And let's get going. All right. Here we are down here. And again, we'll just do this very carefully. And while that is happening, continue my reading. Uh, let me see. So in Train Sim World, uh, the MP36PH3C makes its debut on the Peninsula, Peninsula Corridor, twinned with bi-level commuter equipment perfectly suited for express services through the Bay Area, indeed. Key features, MP36PH3C diesel locomotive in Cal Caltrain livery. Having a hard time talking today. Caltrain livery. Bi-level cars and cab car in Caltrain livery. Accurate true-to-life performance and handling. And lots of good things. Powered by Dovetail Games proprietary Simugraph vehicle dynamics engine and Unreal Engine 4 technology. Yep, definitely, definitely. And we will go to, uh, we got to do this carefully because I feel like we're getting into our fuel stop here. Uh, these were built by Motive Power from 2003 to the present. They made 110 of the 3C that we're in right now. Uh, let me see. Nine foot wheelbase, 68 feet long, 10 feet wide, 15 feet high. They weigh 285,000 pounds. 285 to 295,000 pounds. The prime mover is the EMD 16-64SF3B, maximum speed of 102 miles per hour, power output of 3,600 horsepower or 2,700 kilowatts, an attractive effort of 85,000 pound-feet or 378 kilonewtons. How about that? And I did this earlier. You can see up in the top, it says we've got 230 meters to go till we get to our, our fuel stand, but we don't actually. I wouldn't say that that's bugged out. I feel like it's just something they could maybe adjust in a patch. So we're gonna need to actually stop right about here. 
right? It's, I don't know if you can see the little fuel stand right there through the gantry. Yeah, we're going to stop right there rather than continuing to back up another 450 feet. Right. Set the brakes to full service and the reverser to neutral. That's full service. That is neutral. We're going to hop out and refuel. I like this detail. You know, I saw on the thread for, I don't know, something for for uh, Train Sim World, something on Dovetail. And people were saying, you know, why... Oh, no. Get in there. There it is. Why are there not... We're trapped on the wrong side of this thing. Why are there no super fast trains? Why are there no bullet trains? And one of the answers that I saw was because at this level of detail, well, if you're going 300 miles per hour, you would go through a 30 mile route in about five minutes. And if you made the route long enough that you could actually enjoy it in a bullet train, then you would, the, the DLC would be 100 gig, 150 gig. It would just be, at this level of detail, it would be just massive files to have, you know, a two or 300 mile DLC. We turn the fuel hose and fuel cap. All right, so we're gonna pick that up and bring it over here. Fuel cap, done. So this sort of stuff, yard work and sort of ancillary activities, things that are not exactly driving a train. I know on one level it seems like, hey, come on, man, I, I just wanna drive trains. But some of the stuff I feel can be a lot more interesting than just sitting in a train and watching the scenery go by. So it's a it's a nice mix. I think they've got a good a good blend going between passenger, freight. Uh, I, I, I would like to see, I have to admit, I would like to see more areas represented. There's going to be another DLC next week, and that's going to be in Canada, uh, Canadian freight route. I would like to see more areas. I, I think there are some great uh, urban and suburban railroads in Japan that would be fantastic. I think there are some tourist railroads and scenic railroads in Japan that would be great. I remember those from the original Microsoft train simulator way back in the day. So I think there's a lot of things that they could do, but you know, part of it comes down to budget, part of it comes down to, you know, they have to send people out to gather all this data. They got to scan these trains. I don't know whether they use lasers, something probably, I don't know. but they need to they need to build all these areas. So it is a it is an expense. And if if the sky was the limit, I'm sure Dovetail would do a lot of things. I mean, they, they would charge money for them, of course, but they're in business. Can you blame them? But I think they would do a lot of things if they had an unlimited budget, just like we would probably invest <laughs> a lot more heavily in simulation gaming if we had an unlimited budget. But you know, money is a factor. So you know, what are they able to do as far as going to different parts of the world and, and capturing that data to bring those areas to DLC? Who knows? Who knows? But for the moment, this is what we got. And, you know, nothing to complain about. And I'm really impressed that, as I said, each of these DLCs seems to play a little better, a little faster, and look a little, look a little cleaner and a little tighter. So good on them. Man, reading the comments... You think sim farmers are rough on giants? You, you can't imagine how hard the, uh, the, the train sim folks are on Dovetail. They really get after them. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, with a business having their feet held to the fire and, and being challenged to be better at what it is that they do. Right, let's hop back in here. We've got about half a mile to go. We'll get this thing parked up and... Yeah, I don't know if there are any scenarios that use the cab car. But I know I did one for the the other loco and I off the top of my head I cannot remember the name of it, but I did a a video for the cab car that that is included with the Peninsula Corridor DLC on the other end of that loco and that was fun. It's a it's a different kind of feeling. I mean, this feels like I don't know. It it feels intentional, right? We're up here at our big old our big old locomotive, we got our panel, you know, we're all laid out. 
But when you get in one of those cab cars, it's just this tight little, this tight little broom closet of a, of an office, uh, and you're driving the thing backwards. But you know what? That's realism. That's how they do it in real life. Hang on, I'm gonna hit this coffee over here. Try to do it quietly. I finally broke down and got me one of those stainless steel straws. You know, like you do. And it's funny, you know, they say get get stainless steel straws. Because, uh, oh, you know what, we're going back to 16 kilometers per hour in just about 100 meters or so. So I'm not going to accelerate out. They say, they say, get yourself those stainless steel straws so you're not using straws left and right. Willy-nilly, throwing straws in the ocean. Well, I agree. I don't want to throw straws in the ocean. But the thing is, I don't use straws. <laughs> I never use straws. So I got a stainless steel straw so as to avoid, you know what I mean, environmental catastrophes. And, and then I realized I, I never use straws anyway. So now I'm using the stainless steel straw just to use something. Does that make sense? I'm using it because I got it. But what can you do? I'm drinking iced coffee through a stainless steel straw. Oh, it's the new millennium. It must be. No other explanation. Right, we'll get this thing parked up. Man, I do like train sim. I really do. <laughs> it is... It's another chill game. No doubt. Right. And I think... Right, so on the left, that's the new... That's the new loco in carriages. Carriages? Cars. Coaches. What do you call them? That's the new rolling stock from this DLC. And then on our right is the... Loco and cars that were included with the Peninsula Corridor DLC. Right, let's get ready to break here. And I think uh, right about, right about, we'll start breaking right about, uh, let's see if I can get this just right, right about here. Beautiful. All right. Let the passengers board and shut down this cab in preparation for changing cabs. Okay. So we'll get those open. Oh, I did. I did that. Okay. So those are loading. Get rid of that. Um, you know what? We've got a minute till that is done. So we can come over here, open this hop out here and see what this is like from the outside. Very nice. Very nice. I am impressed. Climb up steps. Climb up one step. Oh yeah. I like it. All right, let's get back out here. Set the automatic brake to full service. All right. Set the cutoff valve to out. We're going to need our cursor back for that. Cutoff valve to out. Set the automatic brake handle to off. Is it that way? It's got to be the other way. Handle off. Set the reverser to neutral, All right? Remove the reverser handle. Got that. That's it, we're done, that's all for now. You'll take this train to San Francisco later. You bet I will. How do we do? Did just fine. There you have it, folks. Thanks for stopping back to check out The Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Train Sim World 2020. This is the, hang on. Let me... 
Let me get my window back open so I give you the title just right. This is the Caltrain MP36PH-3C Baby Bullet Loco Add-on DLC. We'll see you next time. Take care now.